Middle Eastern fashion, what do you think of that? Well, there's no question that you know it's, it, it's, it's up there with the major players. Mm -hmm. um, looking at how it's evolved over the last few years, and especially with the, you know, the Dubai Mall and other malls, it's become, it's up there with as good as any other ball globally. Yeah. Um, and what is so apparent is how they're so aware of global trends and how celebrity driven the market is. And that there's yeah. nothing that's left behind and it's quite a, a wide audience. It's a very wide audience because of not just the, the tourist market but all the different cultures in, it, in, in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. It is probably, it's quite unique in, in, in that field that there's so much diversity in the customer. Yeah. It's coming into, 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 into the market. If you wasn't working in fashion, if you didn't launch a race, what would you be doing? What would be your ideal job? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm in my ideal job. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's <laughs> different a topic because the most important thing in life is to have a passion. Yeah. Is to have a passion and, 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 and uh, something that keeps you, that, that, that keeps the adrenaline flowing and continue the excitement and certainly what excites me is every day is, is, a, is a journey, mm -hmm. is a different journey and it's you never know where, where, where it's going to finish and at the moment I've got unfinished business and having that sort of that entrepreneurial spirit and that, set, and that will to succeed, uh, there's such a clarity about what we're trying to achieve now, what's evolving in the, in, in the, in the global markets that this to me is, is the ideal role and honestly it'd be very difficult to to think of something else that would give me that sort of sense of satisfaction.